Hi guys, I've got something a bit different for you today, and that is a look at a small form factor PC case. Let's take a look. So my brother, who's a whiz at sort of designing stuff, um, he's been running a bit of a, a media company, media PC company rather, for a while, and uh, he got a little bit frustrated with the cases that were available to him, so he set upon himself to uh, to make his own cases. And that's what I've got here. So, name of the company is Laser 3D, and uh, he's been working on these sort of perspex cases. So what I'm going to do, uh, first off, I'm going to take us through a little bit of a tour of it using the, the other camera. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see what it looks like. Now I wanted to give you a tour of the outside of this case. Um, I'll be showing pictures and things through the video, so you may have seen this already <laughs> actually watching the video, but uh, I'll do it anyway. So we've got the top of the case here. As you can see, we've got some vents on the top here. This one here is for cooling the graphics card. This here is for uh, the top of the power supply, which you can see there. Right, on the front, it's fairly simple. Again, more venting for the graphics card. We've got this cool little uh, stripe at the bottom here, which is laser etched in. The uh, the case is made from 3D printed sections on the edges here, and of course acrylic panels, uh, which allows for all sorts of colour combinations on both the edges and the panels themselves. You're getting a lovely view of the insulated ceiling in here, <laughs> in the reflection on this thing. Of course, one of the problems with shiny panels like this, that you can see straight away, is that they are fingerprint magnets, especially for uh, people with hands like mine. On the side here we can see that we've got a, uh, a clear acrylic panel, of course this can be changed as well. You can see a lovely view of that graphics card in there, that is a 1070. On the bottom here you can see we've got these lovely feet, really like these feet, though you can get different styles um, as you will have seen on the website. It's fairly hefty this, because there's so much hardware in here. Power supply, this is the back. You've got a lovely panel here showing the model of the of the case. You've got the graphics card I.O. panel in full. We've got the motherboard panel. In there you can see some more details of the CPU cooler, and more venting of course. And then on the side here we've got the important part, which is the fan. This is the fan that keeps everything cool. And you're also going to see here the button to turn the thing on and off. A really minimalist, minimalistic design. Uh, I really like it. So that's how the case looks. Uh, what I'm going to do next is show you the website because he's actually got a customization uh, bit on there where you can play around with the different options that you want on the case, which is really, really cool. So uh, I'm going to skip over to the website and uh, have a look at that. Right then, so when you get on the site, you have uh, the option of having a black or white versions. So this is the main panels of the case. I'm just going to go with the black version on in this instance, which will load us here to the product page. And as you can see, we've got some lovely photos uh, of the case there now. But the bit we're interested in is the build your own. Now, this is a configurator. So as you can see, we've got a really basic black case there. And we've got the choice of putting feet on it. Uh, having no feet, basic feet or big feet. We've got uh, the ability to change the the corners which hold the uh, the case together. We've got blue, red, all kinds of funky colours. And then we've got some choice of the different grills and side panels that you can get. As you can see there, those are changing. And uh, you've also got the option here of having this funky panel where it's got your power button, restart, some uh, USB 3s and whatnot. And that is the, the website. So we've seen the outside of the case. We've seen how you can customize it on the website. Next up, I guess, is to have a look on the inside of this thing and have a see how it all works. So I wanted to show you guys how this thing goes together and also give you an idea of what the components are inside and how they fit in as well with it being such a small case. So I've taken some of the bolts out. I'll take the top off this side panel, which has got this really cool detail there. We've also got this small panel here, which is designed to hold hard drives and SSDs. You can see there's a mechanical hard drive on there at the moment. So, straight away, you're starting to see uh, how this case goes together. On top here, we've got the, P, the power supply. Now, that's got a vent on the top and is also open on the back. So, the airflow for that is self-contained in this case. We've got the loom 
of uh, power cables that are coming from that that are hidden up the top here out of the way. Now the motherboard is across the bottom here as you can see we've got the RAM and then on top or rather behind that and going over the top of it as well of course is the CPU heatsink and all around this side if I get these parts back as you can see if I put that piece on the side there you'll see that there's a there's a vent here that is for the back of the graphics card down there and again on the top we've got the same going on here the idea, the idea being that this fan here is going to suck in some air and then all of the air generated or the heat rather generated from this graphics card is going to be blown out of the hole on the side here on the top and also on the bottom so the air goes in this side cools down all the parts the hottest part of the system being the graphics card over here has the ability to vent out of all edges around it and uh, that keeps it cool and that airflow that I just showed you there is one of the most impressive things about this case its ability to stay cool even with high-end components in it um, what I'm going to show you now on the screen is it playing Witcher 3 so with the components that are in this playing Witcher 3 full graphics on my 1080 ultra wide monitor one of the main problems that you get with small form factor cases like this is the amount of heat generated and the the small spaces inside don't allow for good airflow so that's one of the really impressive things um, about the case really is how cool it can stay while pushing all those pixels um, and keeping all those components uh, nice and cool when, and doing it while it's quiet as well um, I've tried to put together a video here where we're playing a game uh, but before we do that we're going to show you try and get audio of the case before you start playing the game so while everything's idle then while we're playing the game and then I'm also going to compare it to this fan here to give us a base point so I mean that is supposed to be a silent fan but it, you can hear it hopefully the, the mi microphone can pick that up um, but this is this is quite quiet and it should hopefully give us a base point of how, how how noisy the system is I mean that microphone when I turn off all the audio processing it does pick up a load of background noise so um, this next part of the video is going to be quite staticky <laughs> it's not going to be as silent as you can hear me now so let's go ahead and take a look shall we so we'll start off with the just the case running at idle Okay, and now we're speeding it up, so uh, 12 times speed, or thereabouts, of us loading up a game. So we wanted to run the game a little bit to make sure that everything was up to temperature, so that you could hear the, the fans at their maximum. So let's have a listen to that. Okay, and with the fan on. Right then, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how noisy it was. So what I'm doing now is just loading up some of the screens uh, which show the uh, the clock speeds and whatnot, and we'll show you a uh, photograph of that now. So there we go, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Uh, I am really, really uh, impressed with this, and I just had to make a video of it. It's a bit of a departure from my normal videos, but... I think it was worthwhile. I'm uh, I'm really chuffed with how this is, and of course I've got my own there that I'll be building a PC in in the next year or so. So then, if you uh, fancy getting hold of one of the cases yourself, there is a link down in the description to the site where you can order that, where you can go through the customization process and get that ordered for yourselves. Yeah, I guess there's not much left to say other than thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.